So I'm recording this video after I've managed to get my channel reinstated, which is great. And good on you, YouTube, for not, you know, taking 10 days to review my channel. I mean, you falsely deleted my channel, which is not really a surprise, because when it comes to my content, you love falsely deleting shit and taking way too long to review it. Like, you know, that playlist that I had two years ago, I think, that it took you over a year to review. It's supposed to take, like, a couple of weeks. And honestly, it's kind of fucking insulting. Uh, oh, how about that video that I had where you basically said the same thing as you said this time, but that was for a video, and this time it was for full channel deletion, which was, uh, I, th I don't remember exactly what the circumstances for it was, but it took like six months for them to review the video, and every single time, every single time, you guys do shit like this. You're always like, lol, we fucked up. The problem I have with YouTube, there's no punishment for YouTube fucking up. There's no... If YouTube fucks up, it only punishes you as the creator. That's, like... It's so fucking frustrating. When you take down my channel for, you know, even if, even for a few hours, my videos still suffer because the first 48 hours, usually the first, like, 24 hours of a video going live are incredibly important, and I schedule my videos to always go up at the same time, and then you just upload them, like, eight hours later because you decided to delete my channel. So, cool. Um, I'm just going to show you this email that I'm got, I, I got really quickly, and I'm going to um, just talk about a few things because, you know... My relationship with YouTube has been pretty shit for the last few years, and I have avoided talking about YouTube on this channel, and I was hoping just to completely avoid talking about it. I don't, I don't want to be talking about YouTube on this channel because, I don't know, I feel like they, I feel like they, like, look, and if they see people, you know, talking shit about their fucking company, they, I don't think they like it. But when you're shoving your multi-billion dollar cock up my fucking poor little asshole at every chance that you get... It gets kind of frustrating. I don't have a lot of stretch left. I'm kind of running out because you keep fucking me. It's... <laughs> Jesus Christ. And I'll just show you this email really quickly. Uh, we've reviewed your content and found severe or repeated violations of our community guidelines. Because of this, we've removed your channel from YouTube. I know you didn't review my videos because if you did, you would find that they... there's nothing wrong with it. If you reviewed my content, then there would be no reason for a follow-up email saying... Thanks, we reviewed your content. So this is just a this is just a fucking lie. Um, but thanks for pretending. What I love most about this email is they say <laughs> it's our job to make sure that YouTube is a safe place for all. If we think a channel severely violates our policies, we take it down to protect other users on the platform. I'm gonna talk about this in just a little bit, but I'm just gonna acknowledge this last part right here. Our policy says spam, scams, deceptive content are not allowed on YouTube. So, just referring to spams and scams, um, very specifically scams, do you remember when the gambling sites were a big thing on YouTube? It was like a whole fucking thing that went down, like, there was, uh, T. Martin and Friend, I think T. Martin had the really bad apology, that's the reason I remember him. Do you remember this? Because they were the one controlling sites and encouraging kids to gamble on them? Yeah, no, 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 that wasn't a scam. No, that wasn't a scam. What about the sites that Rice Gum and Jake Paul were promoting where you could win things like brand new iPhones? All you had to do was put in mommy and daddy's credit card info. And, oh wait, that was a huge fucking scam too. Right, what about BetterHelp? Where BetterHelp was a massive fucking scam. Oh, no, but we don't talk about that. Somehow all the people that have had those sponsorships that, you know, did all that shit, they still have their channels. Yeah, like T Marn and whatever the fuck, whatever the name of the other guy was. Like, I think they got canceled off and they got, like, basically bullied off the platform, but. The, like, I just don't under, I just don't fucking get it. I don't understand how that's acceptable to you. But someone who puts up videos, Pokemon videos, and just tries to make people go lol XD, just tries to make a, just tries to make a couple funny jokes. Gets a full channel deleted because of spamming and scamming. Okay. Um, so I looked at all this too. And I, and I thought about all this. And I was like, okay, so let me think about spam. I uploaded two whole videos. Uh, and I uploaded a short, which barely counts as a video. That is just like a little, that's like a little highlight essentially. So 
I uploaded a video. And by the way, my channel was gone the second that video went uh, that video went live, which I found very in, very interesting, or was supposed to go live, which I found um, just quite interesting to be honest. So okay, I am assuming it's not spam. Um, scams, if you look at the links in the description of any of my videos, you've got Twitter, you might have my second channel, you've got Twitch, I think, uh, there was Game Jolt at one point, there used to be Teespring, um, Discord is in there, if you look at certain videos, there's, you know, links, you know, if I'm working with somebody, there's links to their channel, to a previous episode, in the short that I made, there was a link to Asteroids channel, as well as the original live stream. So, all things that are recognized by YouTube. None of these are, like, weird sites, like, you know, a lot of gambling site, just for example, or, you know, just, just something like that. Just, you know, just in, it's just a hypothetical, of course, that you would have a site made to scam kids. But, you know, it's just hypothetically. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a fucking joke. What I love about this email, and I got this in both my emails, by the way. What I love is that they say they are dedicated to making the platform a safe place for all. If you follow Team YouTube on Twitter, if you read the replies, there is so much fucked up shit that I have seen in these replies. Um, and there's two things I want to talk about very specifically that I think break a lot of rules on YouTube. You know, I'm now maybe I'm not. Remembering correctly, maybe YouTube allows animal abuse to be, you know, up on their platform. And maybe they allow child pornography on their platform. And I'm, I'm not really sure. Because there's a full channel dedicated. Uh, maybe it's not up anymore. I'm not really sure. But when I saw it last, it was up for a few months. And all the content was of a guy torturing and murdering animals. Like, you know, cats, dogs, you know, whatever he could find outside type of thing. Like, complete like Michael Myers shit you know but yeah that was up with huge with fucking terrible like ratios by the way the fact that this got likes is incredibly disturbing to me but either way um yeah no that was up that was allowed up on the platform for multiple months there was a video that I saw got tweeted to YouTube that uh, included an adult man um playing with a child's penis and that was up on YouTube for how long? I think at the time that I saw it getting tweeted, it was up for a couple of weeks at least. So, yeah, definitely putting us all on the same level here. Very interesting that we are worried about my content when you have uh, animal abuse and, you know, child pornography on the platform. You know, <laughs> maybe that's just me. You know, maybe I'm the only one who finds it kind of weird. Yeah, it's definitely safe to say my relationship with YouTube is not good and it's not getting better. I've, I'm trying. I'm following all the rules. I haven't uploaded anything that's been, you know, like I'm not uploading any of the fucking Five Nights in Anime shit. I'm not uploading any of the fucking Honey Pox shit. Nothing that is even pushing the boundaries of breaking YouTube's community guidelines. Everything that I upload is all well within reason. I don't have sponsors. I don't link anything. The shit I link, what, the most off-brand thing that I link would be fucking, what, Game Jolt? And I don't even link that anymore because I link it on the other channel. I just, I don't get it. But what I love is this response email that I got. Uh, hi, Melee Bro, we're pleased to let you know that we've recently reviewed your YouTube account, and after taking another look, we can confirm that it is not in violation of our TOS. We have lifted the suspension of your account. It is once again active and operational. <sighs> this is not, this should not be a hard thing to do. This, this should have been the email I got. Five seconds after you suspended my channel. This should have been the immediate email I got after that. Uh, let's see. Our goal is to make sure content doesn't violate our community guidelines so that YouTube can be a safe place for all. Where we allow animal abuse and child pornography and we're okay with that. Sometimes we make mistakes uh, trying to get it right. You fucked up constantly with my channel. And both channels that I've run, you fucked up constantly. You know what it's like to sit at work for like eight hours stressing about if you're gonna have an account you know afterwards yeah no no yeah, no it's great i just this doesn't bother me as much because i don't make my living through youtube could you imagine if you were someone who decided to make the transition from working full-time to doing youtube full-time 
and you got that email and you got that email saying we've taken down your channel for whatever it, it doesn't matter what it is it doesn't matter what it, it, they wrongly take down your channel meaning you're not monetized for even if it's just a few hours i mean the email i got says that it was going to take them you know at least two days if you're someone just mar barely making a buy through youtube but you want to make that transition which is whatever i mean some people like having that risk i respect it now you're going two days without monetization two days without you know making any money because you have no AdSense, you can't stream, you can't do anything to profit. Jesus fucking Christ. And like I said, what bothers me is there's no punishment for YouTube. There's nothing. Sometimes we get it wrong. So maybe look at what you're fucking doing first. What bothers me is you have bots that do everything. Like, it's a, it's a fucking automated system that does everything. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I think it just bothers me mostly because, like, more than anything, because I've had, I have shitty history with YouTube. My my history with YouTube is not like, oh, it's so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and YouTube were, were nice and close. No. No. But when I started, you know, when I was kind of forced to start anew, I was like, well, you know what? Maybe I'll try to be a little, I'll try to behave a little bit more. You know, I'll try to be a little bit better instead of talking shit about YouTube all the time because it was a thing that I did. Frequently, I did it like four times in a year and a half, I think, which is a lot to talk about the same platform. So I was like, you know what? I'll just, I'll, I'll behave a little bit. Yeah. And you still just de fully delete my channel. Like, wow. Maybe I should talk more shit about YouTube because at least before that you didn't delete my fucking channel. Holy shit. And the reason I'm more, more irritated than anything about YouTube taking down a full channel, I didn't get three strikes like I'm supposed to. There was no reason, as usual, behind YouTube taking down a video. No evidence, nothing. So when I put in my appeal, I was like, I think it's kind of fucked up that you guys don't have to provide any proof or evidence or anything to take down a channel. I think it's kind of fucked up. You're saying, you're accusing me of doing something, but with no proof. That's like going to court and the person accusing you has no fucking evidence and they arrest you anyways. What? <laughs> that doesn't make it like that. The, the, YouTube is very much a guilty until proven innocent platform, which isn't good. This isn't like that's not it's not a good thing. Obviously, that's been my whole fucking amazing experience with YouTube. So thank you. What do you even want me to say? I'm fucking irritated. I'm incredibly irritated. YouTube, you need to be better. We've been saying this for fucking years. YouTube, you need to be better. You need to stop being such a little fucking shit stain of a company. You need to be fucking better about what you're doing.